I'm striving to get rich. That's why I almost went two years without buying shoes and fits. Things change now. My mom hearing me wear my music and she look a little prouder. This 2022 NFL Draft quarterback class is a very interesting quarterback class with Sam Howell, Matt Corral, Carson Strong, Desmond Witter, and Kenny Pickett, along with today's topic in Malik Willis. It is a very interesting quarterback class. Now, in my opinion, and you guys can leave your thoughts in the comment section down below, I don't believe that there is a quarterback in this class that is ready to get their start day one. Even though there are quarterbacks that have untapped potential and quarterbacks that can have a really bright future in this league, in this quarterback class, I don't think any of them are going to have success right away, and I don't think any of them are ready to start right away. Even though Kenny Pickett and Malik Willis are two of the guys I believe that are going to go within the top 10 picks because of the need of quarterback in today's NFL, I don't think either guy is ready to start right away. And that includes the topic of today's video with Malik Willis. Malik Willis, I believe, is the best quarterback in this draft. Even though he went to a small school in Liberty, I think he has the most untapped potential in this draft. While he has a strong arm, he has a very good mentality, he has very good mobility, which is very useful in today's NFL, and he has the potential to develop into one of the better quarterbacks that we have in the NFL. Now, I do not believe Malik Willis is ready to start right away, but there are teams that are going to move around, especially in this quarterback happy age that we are in the NFL, and teams are going to fall in love with their one quarterback and they're going to do whatever moves that they have to make to draft their quarterback of their future. But like I said, I don't believe that either of them are ready to start right away, but they have potential to be a very good quarterback in their future. And Malik Willis is one of those quarterbacks. Which team is going to take the services of Malik Willis? Well, you do have a couple of quarterback needy teams that are in the top half of this NFL draft. Now, you can say the Detroit Lions could be a team, but at the end of the day, they do have Jared Goff with their paying a lot of money to, and as well as this Detroit Lions team, even though it's still in the rebuilding mode, they still have to make a decision of whether they're going to have Jared Goff for their future. Now, I do not believe Jared Goff is a quarterback of the Lions' future, in which Malik Willis could possibly be a quarterback that can have on this Lions team, but from all signs that are pointing out, the Lions are probably not going to go the route of the quarterback, so we can kind of exit the Detroit Lions out of the discussion for getting a quarterback in this year's draft. Another team that is in the top half of this draft that could possibly be had for discussion for the services of Malik Willis is the Houston Texans. Now, I personally believe the Houston Texans do have faith in Davis Mills, and it's surprising that they did not get Baker Mayfield back in the trade for Deshaun Watson, but the Houston Texans have some faith in Davis Mills, even though they are like the Detroit Lions, they are still rebuilding this franchise, and Malik Willis can be the quarterback that can sit behind any guy and develop. I just don't think the Houston Texans have the plan in place to draft the quarterback and develop him for years to come. So the Houston Texans is another team that is X'd out for the list of the services of Malik Willis. Another team that has been talked in discussion is the New York Giants. Now the New York Giants do have new head coach Brian Dable, the New York Giants do have Daniel Jones, who they have committed to. That could be another situation where Malik Willis can come in and sit behind Daniel Jones, and Daniel Jones probably struggles. Malik Willis does get some playing time. Now, he does have a very bright offensive mind in Brian Dable, who we've seen that's done an excellent job of developing Josh Allen. Meanwhile, Malik Willis can come into that Brian Dable offense and have some success with this rebuilding Giants team. The Giants team did lose some weapons this offseason, mainly Evan Ingram to the Jacksonville Jaguars, and this Giants team is still in a state of a rebuild. He doesn't have that pressure on him with the New York Giants to come in and succeed right away because they still have Daniel Jones. Malik Willis can have some untapped potential that will be brought out by Brian Dable and his system, and that could possibly work for the Giants, but... That all depends on what their belief is for Daniel Jones in the future. But that is a team that could be looked out. Another team is the Carolina Panthers. Now, Sam Darnold and Cam Newton did not work last season. And Matt Rule is in year three of his tenure with the Carolina Panthers as head coach. And all plans are that this Carolina Panthers team has to succeed now. 
They still have Sam Donald in the play. Is that a perfect situation for Malik Willis to go to and Malik Willis to sit and develop? Because I don't think he's going to respond well to the pressure of playing right away, especially with the Carolina Panthers team that has a really solid defense and a Carolina Panthers team that has some pieces on offense, but they, I believe, are a talented quarterback away from being competitive in that NFC South. So the Carolina Panthers do have a bit of an interesting situation for a guy like Malik Willis to come into and develop, but that is another team that's gonna be looked out. And another team that could possibly have for Malik Willis services is the Atlanta Falcons. Now the Atlanta Falcons are basically in a total rebuild. They just traded Matt Ryan to the Indianapolis Colts. They traded Julio Jones last season to the Titans. Calvin Ridley is suspended for this year. And they just signed Marcus Mariota to be their quarterback. So he can come in and he has established Marcus Mariota in front of him. So this Atlanta Falcons team with Kyle Pitts at the tight end position can be a good place for Malik Willis. And he does not have that pressure to succeed right away because the Atlanta Falcons are not in a position to win right now. They are in a position to develop. They are in a position to rebuild this team for years to come. And Malik Willis in an Atlanta Falcons uniform could be a very successful place for him in his future. So Atlanta Falcons, I think is a very good team for Malik Willis to go to. Now, another team is the Seattle Seahawks. Now the Seattle Seahawks just made the trade for Drew Locke in the Russell Wilson deal. And, and if you guys have been a fan of this channel and been watching my videos, I have not been a big fan of Drew Locke. The Seahawks deal let to acquire Drew Locke from the Broncos in the Russell Wilson trade. But like I said, I've not been one to believe in Drew Locke to be a successful guy going forward. Seattle was another team that is in rebuild mode. Despite some of the moves that they made over the past couple of years, like bringing in Quandre Diggs, bringing in Jamal Adams, DK Metcalf, and Tyler Lockett, I believe they are in a position that they are still going to be a very competitive team. And Malik Willis is not going to fit the timeline of the Seattle Seahawks as it stands right now because the Seahawks are still going to be a very competitive team, not necessarily a playoff team, but they are still going to be competitive with guys like Metcalf, guys like Lockett, Rashad Penny in the backfield, and Adams on that defense. So even though Seattle could be a good place, I just don't think Seattle's gonna be in a position to take Malik Willis at this stand right now. But in my opinion, the best team for Malik Willis to go to is the Pittsburgh Steelers, and this is why. Number one, the Pittsburgh Steelers just signed a guy in Mitchell Trubisky who can have some success now, and he's not necessarily going to be the guy of their future, so Malik Willis can sit behind in that Pittsburgh Steelers offense. They are still in a transition from the Big Ben era. He doesn't have the pressure to play right away outside of a Mitchell Trubisky flop, which I don't believe that's going to happen still have Mason Rudolph on the roster. So he doesn't have the pressure to be the quarterback one right away. He can actually come into that Pittsburgh Steelers organization, sit, develop, and get better off of the field. Now, of course, he's gonna have preseason reps, but this Pittsburgh Steelers team is going to be in a position where they are still trying to win now. And he's not going to have that pressure with guys like Trubisky and Mason Rudolph ahead of him. So at the end of the day, he can come into that Pittsburgh Steelers offense, sit behind Trubisky and sit behind Rudolph, learn the NFL, develop and be the quarterback of their future without having the pressure to come into a Pittsburgh Steelers organization that has been a consistent winner. He doesn't have the pressure on his shoulders to be the guy right away. And he has the most upside and he has a lot of talent. So he can sit behind Trubisky, who I think he's a little bit similar to, even though Malik Willis has a bit of a bigger frame, he can sit behind Trubisky, Rudolph, Mike Tomlin's defense that is still very stout, an offensive line which does need improvement. So putting him behind the offensive line like that is gonna get him killed a little bit. They do have the pressure having off of him with the gunning game like Najee Harris. So he can come into that Pittsburgh Steelers situation, develop, they still are going to win because they have the defense and they have a solid quarterback in front of them and Trubisky and Mason Rudolph can come in and do some spot duty. And Malik Willis does not have the pressure of being the guy right away because I don't think he's ready to start right away. So the best team I think is for Malik Willis is to be a Pittsburgh Steeler. But that's just my thoughts. 
Leave this video a like. As always, comment your thoughts down below and subscribe to the channel if you've gotten to this point. And if you've gotten to this point in the video, comment Bleak Willis to the Steelers. But APW Sports signing out. Make sure you guys stay safe. Have a great and excellent day. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.